Here's our answer to get down to the river and then play on the river. Custom six by six and custom river boat, Kevlar bottom jet drive. Here we go. Today I want to talk about two ranch items. These are used in combination on the Brazos River. Brazos River is a little unique in Texas in the fact that you've got really deep spots and you've got really shallow spots. And you got a really hard time accessing where you can actually put a boat into the river. So what we've done here is we've got a, a 2022 Can Am. We took a six by six single cab and we took an extended. We mix matched those together. So we took the back axles off the six by six and then put them onto the extended to give us a six by six extended. That way when we're heading down to the river, we can take 12 people, six wheels are functional. We can back into the river because a lot of times you've got to, to launch the boat, you've got to get that water deep enough and you've got to get into the river. This gets us in and out of the river so we can launch our river boat. Now this is a river boat. This was specially made in Jet Boats of Texas in Midland, Texas. It's got a Kevlar bottom and a jet drive motor. So you don't have a prop sticking down and it will go where water used to be. People ask me about this boat. How deep can it go? How shallow can the water be for the boat to go? And the answer is it'll go where water used to be. It's got a jet drive so it sucks the water in, kicks it out kind of like a jet ski, but it's got a Kevlar bottom and then the center console with a supercharged road tax motor. So the thing will scoot and if you get into the Brazos where you've got some really tight spots and it's really rocky, and it'll slide right over those and you won't knock off a prop or a propeller. Jet boats of Texas and a Can Am combination is one heck of a ranch town. You can see what we did here was they, they make an extended cab and then they make a six by six that does not have this seat. So you've got one row of seats and a six by six. So what I did was I bought both new, took off the back axle of the six by six, took off the bed and then I rolled that over and bolted it on to this one, which is the extended. Added the doors, added the roof, and then of course added the Ranch Armor high racks. So I've got two rows of high racks, I've got six functional wheels, and I've got the ability to carry three, 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 12 people to get down to the river or just to go drive around on the ranch and see the views. Jet Boats of Texas made this for me custom. They make several different varieties. I wanted this to be a supercharged Rotax jet drive so you don't have the prop or the propeller to knock off in the shallow water. And man, I like to sit up high with the center console so I can see what I'm about to or not about to hit. Um, I didn't want to be crouched down in the corner. I want to be up top, captain's chairs, where I can uh, see and two other people can sit back here on the engine bay with me. And of course you've got your wet sounds cooler that has Bluetooth speakers built into it and two people can sit up front. This thing's a lot of fun on the river. Right here I had them add a power pole. This folds down here in shallow water, acts as an anchor. And then of course an awning for those hot days you can sit in the shade. A couple little add-ons that did really well. And lastly, add this swim deck. You sit on the back, jump in the water, easy to get on. We pull people around, our kids around on a tube on the river with this. It's an easy way for them to get in and out. You've got a ladder to get up. Remember, you don't have a propeller here, right? So you're not gonna get your foot hit by a propeller. And lastly, before we go jump out on the water, I added this swim deck. We pull our kids around on a tube on the river, they have a good time. And then you've got a ladder that comes out, you can jump up on the swim deck or just chill back here in the water. Now remember, you don't have the propeller or you don't have any blades right here, so it's really safe for that. And then they added what's called a stomp gate or stomp grate where water sucks up into the motor to shoot out to allow you to take off on the water. Sometimes it'll suck up grass or debris. And so what you do is you turn off the motor, you stomp this gate and it pulls out any of the debris. We're up here at a Legends Texas Community Ranch. This is the upper Brazos Basin, just below the Possum Kingdom Dam. We want to play in this water. A couple things. That water gets really deep in spots and then it gets really shallow in spots. I mean, we're talking inches. 
So regular boat ain't gonna cut it. And then number two, to get down to the water, it's not really easy. You've got little bluffs and little shelves. And so, man, a truck, you ain't gonna get a dually down there. Well, you might get it down there, but you're not gonna get it back. So we've got answers. You have to have a specialized way to get to the water with a boat, and then you've gotta have a specialized boat to get up and down this sucker.